All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says that a particle is moving along a straight line such that its velocity is defined by this function, which is v is equal to negative 4 s squared. v is the velocity, and s is the position, where s is in meters. So what they want you to do is uh, determine the function for a velocity um, with t time and determine the acceleration as a function of time. So this is simple if you know how to approach this problem. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to, let me write what we start with, 4s squared. We know that s is, I mean sorry, we know that v is the s dt, which is how the position uh, changes over time. So basically, what we're going to do is this ds dt is equal to negative 4 s squared. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pass the dt part to the right and the s square to the left. So we got all the s on one side and the t's at the other side. Now I'm gonna go right here so I have space for the second part. And now you're gonna integrate the left and the right. So if you integrate the left you gotta integrate from 2 to s because you know that when t equals 0 s equals 2. So the integral of ds over s squared is equal to integral of negative 4 dt. So you get that 1 over s, that would be negative 1 over s, plus 1 half is equal to negative 4 t. And solving for s, and you know that's just basic math, so I leave you guys to the math. You get s equals 2 over 8t plus 1. Now the acceleration. This is very easy. All you really have to do is uh, plug in the... All you really have to do is uh, plug in this function onto here. You get v is equal to two over eighty plus one square. And we, um, when you solve this, you're going to get negative 16 over 8t plus 1, all that square. When you integrate over time, you get the acceleration. I'm sorry, not when you integrate, when you derivate dv dt. So when you derivate this, you're going to get 256 over 8t plus 1, all that cubed. And that is the final answer.